If you had to choose food or bombs, what would it be? Local student volunteers have an answer. I grew up, I guess, as pacifist, so food not bombs just makes sense to me to Anti-nuclear activists in Boston gave out free food to homeless and public in 1980 to protest war spending. Soon the idea spread around the world. And we get all the food for free from Central Fresh Market, and we come together at the Working Center in downtown Kitchener to prepare all the food. Usually Full Circle Foods on Charles Street has something to give. Sometimes oats or other staples are purchased there if not enough is donated. We have tons of volunteers come out. A lot of them are from the University of Waterloo. When the produce arrives from Central, the volunteers get busy. Extra potatoes and onions this week means potato curry and onion potato lentil soups. No recipes are needed, students take what they have and make the best of it. Rice is also cooked every week, apple crisp is also featured, which means more chopping. When the meal is cooked, supplies are gathered, the soups are packed. And we truck it down to City Hall and share it with everyone. A whole bunch of community members come out to grab some free soup, which is usually the first news story. By the time the soup arrives, the crowd is already formed. Some come just to grab some free produce or bread. For many homeless in the area, this is the only hot meal available. Rain or shine, we kind of we have servings every Saturday. Uh, today's kind of dreary, but we're all out here enjoying some soup and some warmth. When you cultivate community, it kind of combats the hatred and stuff that's associated with war. And crime. For FYI 247 News, this is Miles Kluge.